How much money have you got invested in this? About $275,000 no. and counting. What? No. Whoa. Yes. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Oh my God! Hold, I didn't know where that. did you get that money from? Next up, an entrepreneur from Timmins, Ontario, who says his unique golf product is a real hole-in-one. Hello, dragons. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Great. My name is Jean Gauthier, and I'm from Timmins, Ontario. Where's Timmins? That's way up north near the igloos. We know where it is. You know where it is? That's good. There's a Boston pizza there, I think, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yes, there is, I thought there was. <laughs> I just want to get that out, Jean. How much are you looking for? $130,000 for 30% of my business. I'm here today to present you a product that's going to change the way the whole world plays the best game that exists. My product is unique, it's revolutionary, it's going to and it's gonna make you and me a lot of money. Never heard that before. No. First time ever in Dragon's Den. Well, Kevin, I know you love money, and I know you'll see the opportunity. But he's not much of a golfer. Well, let me introduce you to the adjustable golf tee. Okay. My product looks like a standard tee made out of polycarbonate that replaces a conventional wooden tee. My product can be adjusted to any height, pending the club you are using. This means you can focus your energy on perfecting the rest of your game. Why don't I just push it into the ground a little more or less? Because you lose consistency. Can we see how it works? Yes. I got a bad feeling. Shh. Let's see a demo. To make it interesting, what we have done, we have put the dragon's face on some tees. I'd like to take a swing at uh, Kevin, I think. I got many of those. All right. Okay, give me another. <laughs> Jean says his new golf tee is more durable than conventional wooden tees. Oh my Whoa. God! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I skied that one. What? And he says the adjustable height can improve even the worst golfer's swing. I am going to whack Arlene right here. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, oh, look at who is that? He's got the little old man swing down pat. <laughs> Are you an engineer or just a no, guy that a likes golf? I'm kind of guy in the mechanics. There's all kinds of gizmos these days, but I think the majority of golfers still are, are old school. You know, I'll adjust my ball height every hole depending on the wind or how I'm feeling, right? I don't want to be fiddling with that. I have enough trouble getting the score down and keeping the game going. Well, it's, it's going to improve the game regardless. Very, Doesn't very improve incrementally, your game. John. The only guy that improves the game is you. This guy right here, that's how I improve. That tee does not improve my game. I improve my game. Well, I would have to disagree. Have you talked to any golf associations like the PGA or the CPGA or any of them about the idea? Well, actually, we are a USGA or a CGA uh, conform with the rules of golf, so they can be used in tournaments. Yeah, the pros right. can use them. I think the only thing it, that I would see in this genre is it, it's a strictly a promotional toy. That's all it is. And, and when you look at these tees now, everybody goes out and brands them with their name on it, and they leave them there. And, and again, it's strictly promotional. I don't even know if it's that. I got some with Boston Pizza on them. Have you sold any of these to anybody? We sold about 15000 in the last uh, month or so. John, how yes. much money have you got invested in this? About $275,000 no. and counting. What? No. Whoa. Yes. 275000 Oh, my God. Hold, where that. did you get that money from? Well, bits and parts everywhere, and the previous uh, partners were in there also. The mold actually is, is quite expensive. And, uh... I, I'm sorry, 200, that's like, I, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Like, how much well, of your own personal money have you put in? Well, about uh, $40,000. So, John, did you put your house on the line to finance this? A portion of it. Okay, that's not good. Or how many tees have you got and in, in costs in inventory? We got hundred thousand dollars in inventory. We got thirty-six thousand packs and, waiting. And hundred thousand oh. in inventory. And how much debt have you got right now? About uh, one hundred sixty thousand. Okay, something does not compute here. Obviously, it's not selling through fast enough. So you're paying to store the inventory as well, right? Yes. How much is that costing you? Three hundred bucks a month. Is this what you're doing full time right now? No, I got another, uh, another job, and I'm yeah. working a couple part time jobs. What happens if you folded up your tent and stopped doing it right now? Could you could you pay down the debt? Could you would you have to declare bankruptcy? How how are you going to manage this? I, 
Like, are oh. you going to be able to deal with it? Oh, yeah. I'll be able to I'll just work harder like I've been doing. I think the inventory is speaking to you. It's saying, I'm not leaving the warehouse because nobody wants me. And uh, you're paying 300 bucks a month to store something that's not selling through. I mean, look, I'm just an investor, and I think it's a bad idea. Um, you know, I think damage control is what you should try and do now. And look for something else that might work. It's not this. This is a horrible idea. This is the tea from hell. I'm out. Don't put any more money into this tea, OK? You got enough money in it. If you can't sell it now, you're not going to sell it. I'm out. You should not have spent the money you spent before you found out whether or not it was actually something people would truly buy. I, I can't even, I don't even have a thought as to how to give you any advice other than what Bruce has said. Don't spend any more money on this. See what you can do with your existing inventory for promotion. I'm out. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. I actually find the old-fashioned way more convenient than moving this, and I'd lose it, and there's so many other factors. I wish you good luck, though, but I'm out. Uh, John, I, th I think it's just a bad idea. Um, it's too bad you spent this kind of money. Um, I, I don't know how many T's you got with our name on them, but I'll buy what you got uh, to get down some of your inventory, at least, anyway. But uh, it's just not going to work. It's not going to be. It's not going to be a money maker. And uh, for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good Thanks, luck. John. What is it with guys putting their house in the line for stuff and their family in jeopardy? That gets me peed. That's sad. I find that really sad. Quarter million God. dollars. Man. God, that's nuts. It's crap. Yes, we're going to keep going. I'm going to keep uh, developing the tea and making the business happen.